Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Tuesday, June the 6th. You would notice here in my account that I have WDC Mark ITM. That means in the money. That means that the stock is about to expire in the money. And which means we would be assigned the stock, uh, the short stock, if we leave that call past expiration. And the expiration is, you guessed it, June 9th, just a few days ago. So how do I make sure that I can see this ITM mm, label so that to remind me that the expiration is within a week? Well, you click here on setup and select application settings. And then from here, you go to positions and you would see here, mark ITM positions. Yep, that's right. All you need to do is say week before expiration. You can go two weeks, four weeks. I think one week is plenty good enough because the stock would not be assigned to me, but on the last few days. Okay, so say apply. Now we have home uh, WDC as a potential assignment. Okay, that means we are very close to expiring and we have accumulated $444. That's very close to our target of about $500. Okay. Now, let's go to the Analyze tab and uh, here I have the trade as it was filled and uh, you can see that the maximum price their gain would be $486 and we are right now at a $462 so there are a few dollars still to be made if we hold until expiration it should not be past Friday because then the stock is taken away but is there any advantage on keeping the stock and simply roll over the call? What I mean by roll over is we buy back the option we have and we sell another one with one month to expiration. That means every month we add to our profit if we do it that way. Okay, let's first take a look at the ad simulated trades and look for that option. Uh, which is right here, three days to expiration. And look at the extrinsic value. The extrinsic value here is 0 0.025. As long as this number is positive, you will not be assigned. Or if you get assigned, that's money that you get to keep. <laughs> okay, those few cents. So yeah, sometimes it does occur and you have three options. So three uh, times this five cents times 100 is $5, times three is $15 that you get to keep, okay? So chances are you won't be assigned before the expiration. And so all we need to do is check this a couple of, let's say 10 minutes before the end of the day and see if this number is negative. If it's negative, then you could do the rollover or simply let it uh, be assigned and the stock being taken away if that's your plan. Now let's take a look at the risk graph and why would I want to roll it over? Well, here is an example. Let's say we buy back the June 23rd, uh, June 9th um, uh, with the 36 strike price and we sell the July 7th, 2023, which is a year, of course, and 36 is the strike price. If we were to do that, we get a credit of 50 cents. But really, how much am I gonna get by adding those 50 cents? Let's see, show this stock, the chart, and come over here to this. I can't really see, normally I would see another line here. I'm not showing that usually by saying two to expiration it shows it but for some reason it's not showing it okay so here you would have the definitive ending um, profit will be 633 dollars well that doesn't seem like much 
much more than what I already have. So you could close the position. But what about if I sold a call based on the extrinsic value? Well, I have this at the 40 July. Let's go to July as the expiration, add simulated trades and look as we have so far, always look at the extrinsic value of the option you want to sell and get the most. Well, that will be this one here, the 40 strike price. You get $1.53. And then you multiply that by three, and of course that will be 450, some something like that. So you will get 450 dollars. Okay. So, but unfortunately that's a debit trade. Okay. If you unlock and lock again, I need to pay two dollars and twelve cents. Well, but that's out of my profits because the stock has been going up. Okay. So the stock itself. It's more expensive now so therefore what it was before I need to pay back some of that but what about the extrinsic value I told you that that extrinsic value you get to keep so even though it says that the debit that we have a debit in reality you are getting that extrinsic value let me prove it to you just click here on the uh, proposed trade so that is selected and show the risk graph. Well, if you come over here, it says that I am bound to make $1,040 maximum profit. Okay, so, okay, that's that makes more sense, right? I just wait a month and then I go from $400, almost $50, and almost $500 to $1,041. Well, that seems like a good deal, right? Now, if the stock goes down, the stock loses value, but eventually stocks go back and forth, up and down, but the extrinsic value I always get to keep. Okay, so if you are ready, go ahead and enter your trade and roll it over so that you don't need to worry about it tomorrow or the day after. But I would recommend that you check at the end of the day before doing the rollover. Because I can't be doing these um, videos all the time, I have to do it right now. All right, so I'm going to do it. I'm not going to lose too much money by doing that. Just a, a few $10, $15 thereabouts. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And what I mean by that is that right here, it says the difference on the value that I have right now is 467 versus 486 that I could make. So that's 15, $16. Okay, so I don't, I don't care. That's fine with me because I have the potential to make over a thousand dollars. So keep doing this rollover if it's worth it. Okay, you have to see if it's worth it. Am I gonna make $500 more? That's sort of my standard and I, I think it's worth it. So then confirm and send. And then once it's filled, you can go to the monitor tab, account statement and see what that stock is worth is ten thousand seven hundred and eighty five dollars okay so my investment is very close to my ten thousand limit okay once that gets filled then we can move on for now let's take a look at other trades that i'm uh, contemplating here to enter starting with amd go to the chart first amd and this is a high performing stock. The question is, can I do trades that are this high? I mean, so far trading stocks that are way down. Well, yeah, that's one way. AMD is another way. If the stock keeps on going higher, perhaps you wanna participate on that. And the volatility, as you can see, is pretty high. Okay, so let's go to the trade tab, the analyze tab first, AMD. This is a proposed trade. Well, let's go to the ad simulated trades. And once again, we look for one month to expiration and pick the option with the most extrinsic value with the least intrinsic. So the intrinsic should be zero. The extrinsic should be pretty high. $670 I get to keep. Well, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. That's because the option volatility is so high. So I'm gonna click here first on the bid 
and that shows me what the option how much money do I really get to make because of the option and right here this blue line is showing me six hundred and sixty five dollars okay I like that and but the problem is is a hundred and twenty three dollars okay so even if I subtract that um, see that's 24 the stock is trading at 124 this is an old proposed trade so yeah that's just not enough because if I do the cover call by cover stock is still gonna cost me more than ten thousand dollars create a particular order confirm and send and you see that it's eleven thousand six hundred and eighty five dollars so we are not going to do those we are only going to stay within ten thousand dollars so as promising as that is we want to avoid it okay let's move on to another one here uh, coin and I think this one is okay this is less than a hundred dollars in fact is almost fifty dollars and the volatility is spiking it's very high volatility so let's go to the analyze time again and look for my July trade that is most um, richest in terms of extrinsic value okay this one at 51 sounds good the stock is trading at 51 okay so I'm going to enter here analyze buy cover stock okay let's put two and see yeah it is the the option is so valuable that my cost is reduced to 44.28 so two of those um, two of those is less than less than ten thousand dollars if I create duplicate order you would see confirm and send it says eight hundred eight thousand eight hundred sixty dollars fantastic and how much money am I potentially making it says right here that I would be making 1152 1142 dollars that's fantastic okay now I have a spreadsheet that I will okay so here is my spreadsheet and I have entered here the stock price uh, let's put here coin uh, my stock price for coin is five hundred fifty dollars and sixty three cents. Okay. and the option price the eight at the money call uh, what is it the extrinsic value is $584 okay the multiplier will be two because um, we are doing two cover calls why because adding them up it adds up to less than ten thousand dollars and here's the maximum profit you see this is the ATM times 200 okay and that's my maximum profit and then what would it be the maximum profit if the stock instead of being 50 was a hundred dollars and so I have the stock price the call of um, the the extrinsic value of the cover of the call is times 100 divided by the stock price times 100 that gives you the price the average um, that will give you the maximum profit if the stock was a hundred dollars and here it says as it is we are getting more than than that so in other words this is just fine Okay. it's not like we will get less if 
we only are getting less if we get, in fact, we're getting more, if we're getting less because the stock is um, a lower price than a hundred, well, and in this case it shows that it's just fine. Okay, because, why? Because we want to have um, the opportunity to make about $500 in every trade. Well, the, this is a whole lot more than that. So, why? Well, simply because the options that we are looking at have such in, uh, incredible option volatility. This is right here, it says that it has a volatility of 101. Okay, with that comes some risk. It's a stock that has high volatility. Well, that means anything could happen in terms of price. It could go significantly lower or higher. Okay, so there's a risk to that, all right? So be aware of that. Perhaps you don't want to take any risk that big, so then don't trade it, okay? I'm trading it because we are here to test things out. But when you are ready to put your own money, be sure that you consider all these factors. Okay, so I'm happy with that and I'm going to create the trade, create duplicate order, confirm and send, and here it is, $8,838. Remember, if we do it in, if we do the same thing in our uh, margin account, it will be a whole lot less. Remember, there is, um, it says right here that the buying power effect on the margin account is even less than half of that. It's 3,800. So be careful because that, that means is that the difference you may have to put up at some point if the stock keeps going down, your broker is going to come knocking at your door and say, you need to put some money. The money you have in there is not enough. So you have to be aware of that. And when you do your trading, think about it. A margin account is not without risks. Okay, but let's, as I said, let's test, test things out and see what the results is. We compare the IRA versus the margin account. What are we going to get in the end? Okay, uh, let's check what we have. The margin account, first the margin account, go to the account statement and you see that our profit so far, right here, here to date is $2,700. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's in less than a month how much we have made. Mm -hmm. And not everybody's a winner. MOS here is a loser. But we have the two positions that we closed before and everybody else, uh, WDC is getting close to. In fact, WDC just got filled, didn't it? Well, it got filled for the IRA account, so we need to enter that position rollover also. Let's say analyze trade and go to the margin account, and you see that uh, the position we have there is the same. Okay, say uh, high simulations. Yep, yeah, it's right there. Let's go to monitor tab account statement and here is our trade so let's say analyze that show all let's delete everybody else and hide simulations high positions this is our trade here okay so here we are close to making just as much money as we did did in the um, in the IRA account, only we put less in terms of margin value, buying power. Okay, so let's do the rollover here. And we expect the maximum profit to be right here, $1,448. So let's do the this same trade. And the cover calls for coin has been filled. You see it right here. Okay, very good. Let's go to margin and we have here cash sweep vehicle. This is how much money you may have to put in if something goes wrong. 
$975. So be aware the margin account might be too, you need to have the cash uh, elsewhere. <laughs> you can put it in a savings account, uh, that amount of money. But in the IRA, you don't have to have that. In fact, we have $31, $1,000 still available. Okay, so WDC got filled and the ITM has disappeared or WDC, okay? All right, let's go look at another possible trade. MOS, we have MRO, okay, let's take a look. Okay, the WDC got filled for the margin account. Let's go to the chart and enter MRO. Okay, here we have the volatility is dropping though. This is one of those that is at the lower end of the trading and it could go higher. Okay, let's go to the Analyze tab, uh, Assimilated Trades, and here again, we're gonna enter this MRO, uh, not June, let's delete this. Let's go straight to July the 7th and look for that maximum right here. Maximum extrinsic value, 86. That's not gonna be good enough, I don't think. Okay, so, the stock is trading at uh, $23, so you could potentially do five, I think. Let's look at the maximum value is 415, it's not worth it, okay? We want 500 kind of thing. Okay, let's continue on devaluating anyway. Uh, we do the analyze buy cover stock, and let's do the RIC uh, risk profile, let's delete this one here. That is showing me that if I do five, uh, create duplicate order, and how much am I gonna put? 11,000, so no, that's not it. We would have to do only four. Four cover calls, confirm and send. That's 8,900, okay, that's sort of acceptable. Okay, let's analyze that trade further. Okay, let's go use, oops, I deleted it. Silly me, let's do that again. Buy cover stock, and let's do four. All right, so the maximum profit is $484. Okay. You might say it's okay, but let's do it based on our calculator here. So let's put MRO. What is the stock price? The stock price is 23.15. Okay, what is the ATM? Is at the money X is 84, I think it was. The value, the extrinsic value is 85 of the option we intend to sell. No big deal. And we said we're gonna do four copies, four cover calls. Okay, we can copy these formulas and paste them. Okay, so here it tells me you need to put a four here. The maximum profit would be $340. Nah, 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 not much. But the important thing is how when we transform that to the equivalent in a hundred dollars, in a hundred dollar equivalent, uh, we see still see that as 367, still not good enough. So I'm not gonna bother with that, all right? And that's about the, oh yeah, we have USB, you recall that I have a um, question. This is the one that we close. Do we want to enter a new trade? Well, that depends on the same calculations. Let's go over here. We have right here, 115, $1.15. So I'd say buy, cover stock. Is it worth it? Well, look at the risk graph. 
how much am I going to get? Well, we need we can do three. Is that less than ten thousand dollars? Yeah, it's nine thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. Is it five hundred dollars or so? No, 426. Okay, let's do the calculation. What if this was a hundred dollar stock? Okay, USP is right here. What is the current stock price? 32.77. What is the price of the extrinsic value? 1.2. How many options I'm trying to sell? Three. What is the maximum profit? And this is calculated by multiplying the ATM extrinsic. This is the money we get to keep because it's the uh, extrinsic value of the option we're selling times 300. Okay, so that means the maximum profit is 360. What about multiplied by a hundred? If it was a hundred dollars, you still only get three hundred sixty-six dollars. So no, we don't want to do that. All right? Don't want to bother with it. You can certainly do it, but um, we are trying to get the most out of our trading here. Okay. Okay. Let's go and check our positions here. Account statement for the IRA account. We have made. $2,773 and that's very comparable with the margin account. Remember the margin account you have uh, $50,000 to begin with is now 52,766. Uh, so obviously in a percent basis we have a much bigger return on the uh, margin account but again the risk is higher. You please be sure that you understand what the risk is before you start doing a margin trading margin trading okay that's all for today thank you very much for joining me see you next time bye bye